I encountered a problem of a population which is very permissive to corruption. Mm -hmm. I encountered a population of Kenyans who they, it's like they've made corruption part of their life. They really don't care. They think that the money that is being stolen is government money. It is not their money. They don't even believe they pay taxes. Mm. When in actual sense, ukilipa a token ya 50 bob, 20 bob ina kuangani tax. Mm. So otherwise, uliku lipe 30 bob, but umelipa 50. So Kenya don't understand hii pesa inaibiwa ni yao. Mm. So yeah. I was looking for a style of bringing the point home. Mm -hmm. yeah, ntafana, ntafanyaje mtu akoko kwa village aelewe vile corruption na muafek. Juu kumbuka huu mtu, unamuambia 7 billion has been stolen, na ajai guza milioni. How do you make them relate? Mm. Kwa sababu hizo vitu, that's why they, they are usually disconnected. Mm. Ju, unawambia 6 billion imeibwa, na hawa jai guza hata 300 ama 500. Let's talk about, let's talk mm. about the places that you've gone, mm. right? And mm. not, we've seen the projects. We've seen the projects online. Mm. Uh, if you don't know Murara's projects, by they follow his page and just see how many of those exposes. Some of them, you know, baka unajua, like, you have lethargy. Because, you know, mm. like, when you watch uh, news of, like, Accidents, accidents, yeah. accidents. It just becomes like uh, emotional fatigue. In, uh, mm. choka, mm. Right? You, you, you even realize that, okay, now I have uh, corruption, right? But the people that you meet, what's their reaction when you talk to them? Because we've seen you do road, road uh, side rallies, sort of. Mm. Those are civic engagement rallies mm -hmm. where we, you know, even people speak back to us. Uh, but um, the feeling is this. One, there's a feeling of anger among Kenyans with what is going on. Secondly, there is a feeling of hopelessness, especially in the, with the young population. Millions of them have graduated with degrees, diplomas. They don't have opportunities and they have no hope of any opportunities because the things the government is talking about, they cannot relate. For example, when the president says he has created 160,000 jobs in the housing program, e-housing program, ini kazi ya mjengo. Na nyumba ikijengo, ikiisha, imeisha. And you see, these people didn't go to school kwenda kufanya mjengo. Uh, when you hear the president talking about 250,000 jobs in Germany, for you to immigrate to Germany to work there, you need to go for German classes. You have to be fluent in German. That costs 137,000. So kama awana hiyo 137,000 ya German classes peke yake, where are they now going to go to Germany? So you find that um, there's a hopelessness within the communities, there's anger within the communities, and there's mistrust is mistrust for leaders. And what do you think you're serving our community? Because, you know, exposing <coughs> is one thing, right? But what do you think your impact is? Um, I have an impact on the population, but I don't have impact on leaders. I have an impact on Kenyans, because Kenyans are beginning to see the truth and come to the light and to see the games that have been played on them. But I don't have impact on leaders and government in terms of them getting to do those projects. One, because those projects were already allocated and money was stolen. So you can't reallocate it again. First, lazima ili pesa ilibiwa itafuto ilienda wapi. And you see those people that uh, stole that money, most of them have political power or political connections. The people are in government, they don't care about me exposing them. You are wajali. In fact, they are used to being called corrupt. They even know that Kenyans will vote for them as corrupt people. Yeah. yeah? So because Kenyans are used to voting for corrupt people, the government or its leaders or the president, the deputy president or cabinet secretaries or MPs, they don't care that you're calling them corrupt. They are okay with it. They know what ubadu wata wapigia kura. So because of that, I have not had any impact on government side, mm -hmm. but I've had an impact on the population. And I believe if I continue impacting the population, I might impact them enough to change this government. Okay. I believe exposing is um, it's a good thing. It's for the here and now. Uh, you see something bad, you go on and talk about it. But I'd like to know personally, what's, what's your end game? What, uh, mm. what, are, you, what are you seeing uh, that will come out of all of this? What's how how do you see Kenya with uh, in the next in the next uh, couple of years with everything that you're fighting for right now if it's all fixed my my, my like? mission my mission is to inspire leaders of integrity to come out of hiding and take positions of leadership and lead our country we have left our country to criminals that is the truth in other countries the country has a mafia in Kenya a mafia has a country we, we need the leaders of integrity. 
you know doing we have leaders of integrity in Kenya people who've been born have leadership qualities and can actually lead our country to a better place but most of them are afraid of politics and the reason they are afraid of politics is number one, the commercialization of politics our politics imekuwa juu ya do ukifikiria kwenda kuchukua maybe position ya MP usaidie watu kitu ya kwanza unafikiria ni wasee watakuomba do uko kwa ground watakwambia wewe tupe pesa kwanza ndio tuongeleshe so what you if you go watch my videos even on X on Instagram utaona everywhere i go i tell people mambo ya pesa kwa siasa imeisha mtu akiwaletea pesa hapa mrudishe nayo na mumwambie hiyo pesa ni yenu umeibiwa so that number one, politics does not become for rich billionaires and millionaires who have actually stolen from the population ikweni leaders of integrity who are currently in business some of them are in their professions in healthcare others are in their professionals as teachers wengine wanaendesha boda but wako na leadership qualities in them waanze kutokea mm. waanze ku feel they can take this themselves Morada, and lead Morada, um, what mm. are you an idealist because reality unaona kijana hapa hata amekupigia ocheng alikwambia hawezi hata hata bus we, we spoke about this at 7am mm. uh, if you would return change right The situation is desperate in this country. A lot of you've mentioned it. A lot of young people hawana ma job, hawana makazi. So mtu akuja hapo akupatie 5k or whatever, 50 bob, 500. Unafikiri ukijana atache hiyo pesa? Yeah, that is what should happen. That is what should happen because that's what happened in civilized countries. Mm. Sahi, so Donald Trump is a billionaire, sindio? Mm. According to Jet the Mandiko Trump, mm. but he has raised 470 million US dollars. 470 million US dollars mm. for his campaign that's even more than Kenya's budget for five years that's what he has raised for his campaign in the US because what wana mchangia 10 dollars 20 dollars uko US the reason it's important to changia watu wenye wako na integrity waingie kwa viti za siasa ni because when we contribute to them we own them Unaona sasa kama mimi sahii nimechangiwa na wakenya. Mhm. Hebu angalia video ya jana kuna jamali niambia wewe Morara wewe mm. nilikuchangia pesa leta microphone nionge. Mm. People own you. They own what you have and that's a beautiful thing because but, but it means you'll be accountable. Even the billionaires si wanachangiwangwa. No in Kenya watu wachangiwa wangi watu wanaiba pesa wanakuja wana campaign nayo. <laughs> Finally, um, you are a family man, yes. you're a businessman. Mm. And uh, do you do you get time because we talk about mental health issues mm. especially for young men in mm. Kenya. Do you get time to have downtime? Because every time nafungua video mazee uko na expose a different county. My math kwa mm. kichwa ni how many kilometers alifika hapo aje alilala ali weekend alije enjoy ama alikuwa tu ma speaker First I work very hard in terms of mambo ya civic education. Mm-hmm. I do it even sometimes up to night. Like sasa jana juzi I was on TikTok live doing civic education up to around sasa saba ya usiku. Mm-hmm. So but I spare time for my family. Sasa my my wife we we we, we speak on the move. She comes by the office. Mm-hmm. We talk about one or two things. We fix things here and then tunapatana jioni nyumbani tukikula and we talk in the morning and at night. Mm. The same with my kids. We talk in the evening nikikuja na asubuhi kabla nitoke. We play music, we talk about one or two things and then weekends we are also, also together. Mm. And also uh, there are times I travel with my wife. Unaona nikienda hizo vampire diaries, mm-hmm. kuna time yeye ndio ni drive. Wow. Ni vile aonekana kwa video because well uh, she has nothing to do with my political endeavors mm. but kuna time yeye ni drive kuna time anakuanga tu present tu hapo but ameket ndani ya gari. Mm. So sometimes we just enjoy ourselves on the move and live life as we move. So 90% of my time nafanya mambo ya civic education, 10% ndio najienjoy nayo. Murara. Yes. Una campaign na pesa za watu? Of course nita campaign na pesa za watu usijaanza campaign sasa inafanya civic education na pesa za watu mm. but kama nitataka kitia siasa ni ukweli nita campaign na pesa ya kwa box 2027 unasimama wa Kenya ndo watani show unaona sasa hii, hii building mali mko mm-hmm. hapa ndio register political party zako mm-hmm. nikichomoka interview naendea certificate yangu ya political party hapa chini mm-hmm. kwa sababu mambo ya vijana kuachia wazee siasa ati tunaambiwa you are too young anza na MCA imeisha mm-hmm. hapa tunafaa tusimamisha hata president mwenye ako 29 years old hapa kwa sababu there is nothing that they can do different we've realized that these people even with education they are just thieves wow. our president has a phd mm-hmm. but you can see what's happening in the country Thank you so much for making the time to be here Morara mm-hmm. and we appreciate
We will invite you. Ukisha fungua political party ama ume decide unasimama, we'd love to know more. But thank you so much for making the time to be here and uh for remember guys, you are on the morning kiss.